There I go. Hi. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Happy Mental Health Monday. How are you today? We are silly gooses. I'm making a little dude. <laughs> You're good. I'm glad to hear. I asked earlier. No, I asked earlier how your test was. I was like, how did your test go, King? And I was like, I think he might have just gone and lurked. <laughs> Good ass Mexican food? Hell yeah. Mexican food is always good, unless it's not, but that's really rare. Home cooked Mexican food? Mm mm mm. Delicious. Check. But yeah, I'm just doodling. I don't really know what to do on stream, and I don't really feel like playing a game. But meh. If I expected it to go like that, did not study for it! Gang! Well, I mean, as long as you're prepared, I guess. As long as you're prepared and you think that you did okay, I guess I can't be mad. Can't be mad, whatever. <laughs> I don't know really what I want to do, I just want to do, like, things. Things! I want to work on my handwriting because I don't ever really write a type so I never really have to worry about my handwriting I don't know, I'm just- I've been in such like a weird mood recently and my brain has been all over the place. <gasps> Gilmo's kill her d d character?! What the flip?! How could you do such a thing?! She's a sweet baby! You can't do that to her! <laughs> You're gonna get grounded. She had bad rolls. Oh no! You gotta get new dice. Pfft. New dice. New dice time. He made you cry? What the fuck? You're grounded in the doghouse. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You get this. This is yours. I was gonna make like a slanted shack, but I just made a cube. I don't know. That's yours now. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you. This is my old one. <laughs> it's the one that can't get angry unless I toggle it. I can't. I can't look angry. I just look like I'm about to cry. <laughs> unless I go like this. <laughs> but thank you, I appreciate it. Oh, you just want to be a little dude. I don't want to have any thoughts. 
I'm gonna give you a bow. Try to give him a bow tie, but it didn't really... Didn't really work. Actually, um... No, please. Please. This is for chat. TTS, no. If I ever did that, I would use my ducky. My little baby boy. Hold on, where is he? Let me open him. Where's my baby boy? Alright, this- this is chat. <laughs> if I haven't made chat CTS, it would be- it would be my- my ducky. I have- like, I made him, but I made him on my iPad, so... <laughs> I don't have the- I don't think I have the PSD on my PC. I might. Let me see. And also, when I- when I try to load it on PC, it looks like desaturated and yucky. <laughs> I don't know how to fix that. Ba 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 ba. Oh, my old duckies. Old duckies. I still have them. But yeah, no, this is just a doodle. I didn't really feel like doing much, to be honest. I just felt like kind of existing today. It's Mental Health Monday. I was kind of contemplating not doing anything today and just taking a break off a of stream because my mental health has been mental mentally illing i haven't been mental healthing i've been mentally illing it's been fucking fantastic when i lie i i know that it's getting bad because i'm contemplating going to the mental hospital like we're not oh. <laughs> We're not on the, the, the yippee! We're on the boohoo right now, and I just, I'm over it. I just don't want to be feeling like this no more. I'm tired. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to do with you, sir. So I'm just going to leave you, and I'm going to make a new thing, because I don't, I don't really know what to do with him. Um, I'm just, I want to do like the one line challenge where you make something with one line. What should I make those? The question. Can we be in a silly goose? I don't know. <laughs> My brain is just silly. I don't know what this is. I used to like making like gemstones. Chill. <laughs> Boohoo because my brain keeps thinking thoughts that it shouldn't and I don't know how to get rid of them. Specifically like like my past. And to be honest, it's because of like stuff I've been going through recently and I just don't know how to be like <laughs> cuz I'm already like trying to retrain and like rewire my brain and I'm trying to do like my DBT stuff and it's just not helpful. It's just, it's really not. Like I just, I don't understand when they say, so you have to be mindful. And I'm like, I already am mindful of what I'm saying and what I'm doing. It's just not doing what I need it to. Like, I just, I don't know. And I don't feel like, I don't feel like talking to anybody. Like, I just, I've been so antisocial. Like, I just, I just want to exist, but I don't want to exist. This looks so weird. I was trying to make a snake at first, but then I was like, that looks weird. So I tried to make it into a snail and then it just looked even more weird. So. <laughs> I just I don't know how to talk to people and I don't like putting my feelings on people because I feel like a lot of what I've been talking about recently has just been like boohoo and I don't want to bring down the vibes you know I feel really annoying and I don't want to I don't want to 
me doing all that? Cause that just makes it worse. But then at the same time, I'm like, self-isolating ain't any better, bitch. <laughs> Yeah, I appreciate that. I don't know, I just... <sighs> I think it, it's difficult for me to like... And I know it is, and it's like, bitch, you have a mood disorder, like... You're gonna, like, feel these things. And I hate, I hate like, okay, for the longest time, and I mean, I'm still kind of like getting over it, I guess, in a way, because... Like, when I first was, like, diagnosed with my stuff, I was not a therapy believer. I was a therapy hater. And I was like, nah, fuck that shit. Because um, at the time, I had, like, gotten court-ordered therapy. So I did not want to go. I was like, no, fuck these people. They're just gonna, like, whatever. And, you know, it's just... So much. And then... At that time, like the people that I, the therapist I had was really a piece of shit. I don't care. Fuck that lady. Um, <laughs> she diagnosed me uh, with bipolar and she was just so unhelpful. And she pretty much told me like, your trauma doesn't mean anything. The shit you've been through, like... I don't even remember because at that time I was still going through like some some stuff so a lot of my memories are like mushed together a little bit. I remember how she looked though. She looked like this. She looked like that. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I- I- that's what I did, like, I- I distract myself, but also at the same time, I- I'm self-aware. That's my problem. I'm self-aware, and I know that what I'm doing, and I'm like, you shouldn't be deflecting. You should be facing your feelings. Because the, the psychiatrist that I've had most recently, I fucking love her. I- I've talked about her so much before. She's the absolute best. She needs to come back! <laughs> oh my god, my phone fell off. She needs to come back! <laughs> She still isn't in the system. I'm pissy. <laughs> to be honest, she probably has- Because she knows that I stream. So I'm like really curious if she's like watched my stream and is like, I'm never coming back. <laughs> You're cray cray. And I'm just like, oh. <laughs> but my psychiatrist at that- not, mm, My therapist, she wasn't a psychiatrist because she couldn't give me drugs. Um, She told me that like- I can't let my trauma, like, I can't have feelings about my trauma. I'm not allowed to have feelings about my trauma because I'm not, like, I'm not in that situation. And at that time, I kind of wasn't, but I kind of was because I was still going through, like, the court and I was still seeing my abuser at that time. So, smiley face. And then also, I was going through, like, that other trauma. So, I don't know. It was a whole thing. Ba, 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 ba. But I have music therapy now. <laughs> I have music therapy now. You know what we can do? I needed to finish the thing that I was gonna do because Bonnie said it would be funny. <laughs> we'll make memes. I don't know. I, I like a lot of like I, I this is like my side profile practice because I don't really know how to do side profiles. <laughs> We're gonna do this one. We're gonna do this one. I know. It's just... Uh, I had a conversation today, actually, and it, like... I've had a few conversations recently that have just made me feel, like, so conflicted about myself because I'm like, I don't even... Like, I know who I am, but I don't know who I am because it's like... I can never feel like myself. And when I feel like myself, everybody's like, what are you doing? And I'm just like, I'm being me. And then they're like, this isn't you. Like, why are you? And I'm just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. Cause like, and this isn't this isn't like shadeful towards like super family or any of them, but I am very much guarded and not the nicest person when I'm in super family because like that's my personality around them. So when I am in like my server and then like people from super family will join in there and be like hey blah, 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 and then they'll like have this energy and expect me to reciprocate this energy but i'm like not with it you know i just like when i was in super family if you know the lore you know the lore i don't really want to detail that lore too much but i was very toxic because i felt like i had to be toxic because i was like I was with a person, I was in a relationship when I, like, I didn't feel safe. And it wasn't even, like, an abusive type in that way. I feel like the only type of way it could be described is just, like, mentally toxic. It wasn't toxic, well, it was kind of toxic in that way too, but I'm not gonna get into that. I wanna give myself pigtails! I hate that my bat my bat model made me like wanna have like these like these little these little pigtails. <laughs> the real pigtails. My freaking my maid art that I was working on has just made me want pigtails and like cause pi like okay. Working on these these curves, these curls has just made me want <laughs> But I've already commissioned so much art of her hair down. I also feel like it would be good because um, you know how in VTuber design they're like, yeah, don't ever have your hair be like super long and because it'll make you like, you it'll make you really indistinguishable. And I was like, oh shit, you're right. So I'm just kind of like, <sighs> <laughs> but I felt like in that relationship I had to be very guarded. I was literally like driving myself to insanity. I was talking. Trigger warning, mentioning of mother. Because <laughs> I know that a lot of us have mommy issues. Um, but I was talking to her about it. And I was talking to her about like my exes. And I never I never do that. And she's like, is that the one where you were acting like this and that? And I was like, no, that was this one. And then she's like, oh, so it was this and that? And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> and it just kind of makes me realize how toxic my relationships are and how they and like how i reflect from them because like i when i'm in a relationship and i'm having like a favorite person moment and i'm like very reliant on that person and i'm just like i get that obsession and like it's just not fun for me which is why i'm trying so hard now to like take it slow because i do not want a favorite person i don't want to go through that pain again because it's just i'm i'm i don't want to be i don't want to be vulnerable anymore i don't i also like don't want to go into that phase of not being vulnerable though because i'm trying to like take everything that i have learned through my therapies and be like, being vulnerable is beautiful. Being able to have emotions is beautiful. Being able to do all this stuff, like that is beautiful. And being able to give yourself to someone and show them that you care and blah, blah, blah is beautiful. And if they take advantage of that, that is on them. Fuck them. But then, the other half of my brain is like, it hurts. It hurts so bad. I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> I don't want to do it anymore. I'm so tired of people using me for everything. And I'm scared of feeling like I'm using people. Like, I don't ever want someone to look at me and be like, are you using me? And then me be like, no. And then them think that I'm like lying, you know, because like sometimes I don't even know, like, like, I don't even know. Yeah, I just... I felt in my 
not my most recent like not the relationship that i'm in now but the one before the one that i'm in now it altered my brain chemistry a little bit because i i i told myself i was being insecure i told myself i was being crazy i told myself just be trust like just be trusting and i think like deep down i knew like deep down i knew what was happening and i was like nah like he wouldn't he wouldn't do that to you he wouldn't do that to you and he was he was and he did <laughs> and he still lied about it when confronted which is like the crazy part for me like what the hell it is so easy to make like it's so easy to make excuses for people and it's just like it was even worse because i wanted it to work with my other relationships i give my like i gave my whole heart and soul and now i just i can't feel to the fullest extent right now which is why i feel so like yucky all the time i think is because i feel and i've told i've talked about this with my partner and i was like i i feel guilty like i feel like i'm not i feel like i'm not giving myself to you the way that i want to and by that i mean like i'm not emotionally being the way i want to be like i'm not quite sure how to describe it because it's just like when i was in like all my other past relationships i was like so clingy so needy so give me attention give me attention blah 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 whatever but you know I don't know. It's just like yucky. All of it is yucky. It's yucky, but I'll get over it one day. It's just gonna take time. It's just gonna take time. And I just need to be patient because healing doesn't happen overnight. It doesn't happen in an hour. It takes time. I just need to be patient. <laughs> I just don't want to be patient right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoy your lurk. I know, I... I just... I just need to find a way to like reach out to people and like... feel... feel okay with reaching out and not feel like a bother. <laughs> Gotta get over that social anxiety, you know. That building in Rome, it took... I hear it took two days to build. What? <laughs> what? Me when I lie. It doesn't take... Wait, how does it go? It takes a village to raise a child. <laughs> or something like that. Because there's no way they built it in a day. Real. It's just, I don't know how to not feel annoying. Like, I hear my, like, it's because I find myself annoying when I'm around other people. When I'm alone, I think I'm fine most of the time. But then when I'm around people, I'm like, shut the fuck up, you annoying ass bitch. <laughs> It's so bad sometimes. And then I like, I'm like retraining my brain, right? Cause I'm like, stop, you're not annoying. Like, cause I'm trying to rewire it. Cause like, I know that it's not me. I know that it's not rooted from me. I know that it's rooted from my memories, right? And even when I'm streaming, like, like even when I'm telling like how I feel like I like even now like I feel like oh change the topic this is like you're being emo 
this is annoying. Like, why are you talking about this? You're probably making people uncomfortable. But then at the same time, I'm like, if they're uncomfortable, it's the internet and there's a beautiful little X button. <laughs> if you don't want to watch it, you're like, you're okay to leave. Like, I can understand that this is uncomfortable because even for me, I'm uncomfortable. What the hell did I just do? <laughs> even for me, I'm uncomfortable. Like, I, I just... I'm trying to like undemonize it in my brain my brain <laughs> I'm trying to undemonize it in my brain and I'm trying to like teach myself how to be better but it just is a real hard sometimes <laughs> it's a little hard sometimes I just I just get lost in my thoughts I don't remember how that one person did my highlights, but the way they did my highlights was like my favorite and I want to do it. Where is it? You. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, reassurance is key. I- I know, I don't- it's cause I'm like scared, like I don't- I never see streamers touch on these type of topics either and it's because I think a lot of them are scared because it's like Oh! Preach positivity! Never let anybody- like it's that mainstream media type of energy and I think it's cause a lot of people are like, oh we're gonna get like harassed because in all of truthness, I, that's a valid fear because people have definitely gotten harassed over talking about this type of stuff it's literally it's because it's so demonized which is why i i, I want to talk about these type of topics and i want to create a safe space where other people can talk about their experiences you know i don't think it's necessarily people are sensitive i think they're just scared of things that they don't know and it, it's not even nowadays people have always been this way it's just people are more outspoken about it i think that's the difference and that's what a lot of people don't realize it's just, it's always been this way it's just never been directly shoved in your face as it used to be like it it, 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 it never used to be it never used to be like out there and I think it has to do a lot with like conformity and the way media is in general. Cause like if you look at old media, a lot of like conformity stuff and uh, like fit in this way, do this to do this type of stuff. It's always been there, but now it's just kind of like more outspoken and there's a lot more ways to do it, I guess. Cause now it's not really as much they it used to be more subtle i couldn't think of the like the right wording it used to be more subtle and now it's it's not i feel like some of it is but a lot of it is not a lot of it is not Yeah, exactly. I like- I'm the same way. I like talking about this type of stuff because my experience could help someone else through something they're going through. Because it's very difficult because, okay, throughout my life, right, I was never allowed to have, like, emotions. I was always, like, shut it down, like, fix your face, I'll give you something to cry about type of shit. You're like- what? Get <laughs> this the, the thing we're trying? Yeah. You're stinky odd. But um literally like never allowed to have emotions. And it's also because I was raised by a narcissist. And they need to be in control of everything. And it's also the means of keeping a reputation, right? So if I have any type of emotion besides having a perfect smile, which mind you, I don't even have a perfect fucking smile. I hate smiling with my teeth. It's like the worst feeling in the fucking world. 
for me and i always get told smile with like why don't you smile smile with your teeth and i'm just like ah! <laughs> i want to get braces then maybe then maybe but it was always like we have a reputation to uphold you're ruining our family name you're making our family look bad and um i know it's so silly but i'm gonna say it because i don't fucking care matilda saved my life that movie honestly honestly i don't care how dumb it is that movie altered my brain chemistry in such a way that i survived and i like forced myself to survive and i mean that in the sense of the scene in matilda where the parents right from wrong i'm smart you're dumb i'm right you're wrong altered my brain chemistry in such a way that like I'm oh shoot I did that on the wrong layer. <laughs> um altered my brain in such a way that I my family has always told me that I have a hard head. And no, it's because I didn't I didn't brain I didn't get brainwashed to the same extent that my sisters did because of that movie. Because I didn't allow myself to like okay i don't think i said what i was gonna say i think i got like off track but i've been told that i have a thick like a thick skull i need to get that through my thick skull that was a sentence that was very um often used is you need to get this through your thick skull obviously in like a more aggressive but i don't feel like going that aggressive right now to be honest with you i just like I never did. I never, I never would want to because I feel like I knew it was wrong. And I knew what was happening was wrong. Whereas I think my sisters kind of got a little more brainwashed because obviously like they're older than me, right? But, um, I think it's also the fact of like is this Dove Cameron? This is not Dove Cameron. Who is this? I'm sipping. I am you. Also, hi Isa. You look creepy when you do. I took a big sip. Um. No, that tells me to do it, but I look so awful. I doubt it. I bet you look beautiful. I bet you look beautiful. But I think I kind of like saved myself from getting brainwashed as much as a lot of my other family members did because like when you are in a situation with a narcissist it's very difficult to like know what's real, know what's not real, right? And it's because they take your sense of reality and they twist it. So um when I say I don't feel like I know who I am, it's because I wasn't raised to be myself. I was raised to be a pet. And I mean that in the sense of... <laughs> Let me find the words. <laughs> Let me find the words. <laughs> I was raised to be perfect. I was raised to be easy. I was raised to be like, I don't know. 
a doll. Yeah, exactly. I was trying to avoid that term because I hate it, but that's what I mean. I I use the word pet instead of doll because it's like I, I I've always had an obsession and I think I've talked about this on stream before with being normal. Very like stereotypical um want a perfect family, want to fit in, want to be like whatever because of it, right? Um, I wanted a family that actually wanted me. I wanted a family that would actually take care of me. I wanted a family that would be there for me, right? Because to be honest, my family, even like the non- the non-stereotypical ones, while they might not have been physically abusive, they weren't necessarily mentally and emotionally there, which isn't their fault because it's very difficult to understand someone who's being abused or is in an abusive situation's point of view if you have not gone through that. And I think for me, I'm very desensitized to a lot of stuff, which is why I'm so, like, open about talking about this type of stuff and why I don't really care if people want to talk about this type of stuff. Because it's just like a casual-ass conversation for me. I always feel so bad when I'm, like, talking about this stuff with, um, like, new people, you know? Yeah, literally normal Monday night. Like, what? <laughs> Ellie, the other day when we were talking about that stuff, I felt so bad. I just wanted to keep changing the topic, but then it just like kept coming up, and I was like, "This is your, this is your mom there. Like, you can talk about this." Oopsies. Like, I don't know. I'm just a silly goose. I do silly goose things. I forgot, you're an EST, so it's already like 10 for you, isn't it? I'm a silly goose, my bad. Hunka hunka. Shit. Erm. Erm. I thought you were CST, my bad. <laughs> Some people, when they have kids, believe that the kid will turn out exactly how they want it to be and forget that they are human. That's very true. And it's also... I think... My... Both of my parents... Like... They were unequipped. And then... One of them was being abused and one of them was the abuser and... One of them was severely mentally ill, but didn't have the resources to do anything. Excuse me. Um, <laughs> so didn't have the resources to really do anything about it. And having to deal with kids who are being abused, but also not knowing the extent because they got divorced, right? So not knowing the extent that your kids are being abused and then just having to hear from your kids, oh, hey, like, our other parent is doing this. I don't remember if I've ever said which parent was the abuser before. So I'm just kind of like trying not to. <laughs> that would, what? Parents, why don't my kids talk to me also, parent? No, literally, no, literally. This is sack boy. I'm making myself into a pouting sack boy. I've played this on stream before. <laughs> it's sack boy. He's just a baby. Yeah? Hi, Melo. I'm listening to my Discover Weekly since it's Monday. Uh 
I know. Don't worry. <laughs> Lilac. I'm stretching. That's a good thing because I've been shrimping. Oh, everybody on shrimp. <laughs> I'm sleeping with my legs up. I need, I need to not do that. I slipped. You know what? Actually, I'm gonna do a full body stretch. Let me stand up. Ugh. Ow, my hips! Ugh. 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 Okay, I'll do squats too. One, two, three. Put a shirt on. I am wearing a shirt. Old Grandpa Bella, yeah, I know. Actually, I'm gonna be Grandpa this year. <laughs> you know what I didn't do? I didn't do my bangs. Never <sighs> have a ba ba Bella is grandpa. Well, it's cuz grand it's cuz Bella's father. Hold on. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Brittle bones. That's actually probably true. Cuz I I don't really have a lot of calcium in my diet. <laughs> uh, calcium makes me sick, which is why I do not drink milk. At least I've like narrowed it down to calcium because it's it's eggs and have you seen Hell Divers? I've seen TikToks. I haven't played it. Um, Issa plays it. I watched it and then it's no, <laughs> no milk, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know water. You can't make me. <laughs> you can't make me. No. Milk is yucky. Milk is yucky. I don't even like the way milk tastes. The only milk I like is almond milk. Specifically the vanilla kind. Yes, I fucking love that thing! <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about! He's just like... A gallon a week? Oh lord. Ba -ba -ba -ba! Ellie! What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Thank you! I get, hold on, come here. I gave- hold on, I don't have hands- I don't have hands to hug anymore, hold on. I- hold on. Uh, uh, where is it? I'm lost. This one and this one- There you <laughs> Hold on. Let me pull up my little wheel. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> I weep, I sob. Hold on. My wheel did not come up. Ah, thank you. I appreciate it. Hi, Snuggles. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. Scary video. Thank you. Rah, rah, rah. Um, skipping song just because of the name of it. Do I have to? My throat really hurts right now. No, I'm doing okay. Thank you. <laughs> I 
one respin. Okay. Um. Yum. One, two, three, four, five. All right, who do you want to time out? All right, choose your scary video as well. That's not up to me. That's up to you. <laughs> That's up to you. Hold on, I'm gonna give you half five. <laughs> But thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> I don't have my my like little nice towels on there. I'm watching you. Do you want me to- Mello? Mello's always the target. Mello, would you mind being the target? <laughs> no! I'll take one for the team! It's up to them. It's up to them. <laughs> Love, I'm afraid. Time me out, it's the PM time. <laughs> no, time them both out. No, it's up to it's up to Pop. Pop has to decide. What did you say? No, don't time anyone out. You want me to respin it? You want me to respin it? Sure, okay. Mm -hmm. I don't have that anymore. <laughs> I'm not, no. All right, models up for six minutes. Okay, choose your scary video. And then, and then I'll get my, Woo woo! Bark bark! <laughs> bark bark! Bark 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 Woof 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 woo 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 Ow 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 <laughs> Bork Give me a bike, bike. Bike, bike. Uh. 
Uffe. Bork, bork, bork. Bork, bork, bork. Bike, 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 bike. Bike, bike, bike. Bike, 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 bike. Bike, 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 bike. I felt that on a barking level. Fantastic. I can never get the bangs the way I want them to. I think I'm struggling right now because it's such like a flat head. Yeah, flat head. <laughs> nah, you. You're stinky. Are you yapping about barking? I'm just yapping. I'm just a yapper. There. You said bye, bye, bye. Yeah, I'm speaking facts. Why are you guys so surprised? You act like this is a first. <laughs> What the frick? Please. Hold on. Do you have a scary video for me or do you want me to try to find one? Yeah, yeah, exactly, Mellow, exactly. <laughs> I'm looking, you're struggling, real. I got one. That's not a he! That's a she! <laughs> At least I'm pretty sure at least pronouns are she. Hold on. Yeah, Rusa. I don't remember if you're non boonery. I'm pretty sure your pronouns are she, her. One? Hold on. I never remember. Let me look. Ow, ow. <laughs> <laughs> um. Stupid flash <laughs> But you know the vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, you gotta... Illy, you check out that video and tell me if it's any good or not. Oh 
long it can be a long video since when did you become a smurf i've been a smurf look shit i don't know how far back it is i've been a smurf Excuse me. It, it, I don't know. Uh, like, I'm gonna limit it on, like... Uh... Hmm, 10 minutes. That's the top. The top has changed? What are you talking about? Are you talking about on this? Respa? Yeah, the the whole thing changed. My model is gonna look like this. I just like using that reference because I like my Oh, topic. No, I was like, ah! <laughs> I was confused by that. We can go back to the other topic if you guys still want to talk about that. I just didn't know if you guys still want to talk about that or not. I'm completely fine with talking about mental health stuff. I just... This is why I made a chat safe word. <laughs> That's why I made a chat safe word. So if anybody ever doesn't want to talk about something, they can be like, Banana chicken. Credits to uh, King for making... For making chat safe word. Yeah, we made a chat safe word, so whenever chat gets uncomfortable, just say like, banana chicken and we'll like change topic. <laughs> Fortnite, what about it? Fortnite. Yep, yeah, I, I guess. <sighs> if we're gonna go back to that topic, we're gonna talk about brainwashing. Because <laughs> I think the whole thing about like brainwashing and just like the way that it changes you as a person that a lot of people don't realize once you come out of that situation how you feel and how you see yourself as a person after stuff like that happens because i think a lot of people because what i said i'm not talking about cults i'm talking about family <laughs> i'm talking about narcissists um, I think a lot of people don't realize it. Hi, you don't know what to do with yourself? You should be a silly goose. Um, but I think a lot of people, as I was saying before we switch topics is, um, oh wait, I need to do my model off for six minutes. Hold on. Study, study on the side. Is it well? Is it something you have to read or like what is it? I also have to do squats. Hold on. Oh, ten squats. One, two. Three, four, five, 
Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Well, if it's textbook chapters, what you could do is work on your VTuber and then have like a, a, a TTS thing. And just do it that way. That's what I do when I don't feel like reading actual books. I'll just have it be read to me for a TTS. I put up, a, like, I open Google Translate and I just have it. I just have Google Translate copy and paste it into there. The first blood cult everyone is a part of. Yep. No, I want it. That'd be fine. I'm okay with anything you give me. All right, what is a Mr. Nightmare? Ugh, YouTube. I'm shrimping again. <laughs> Ugh, Mr. Nightmare. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, I haven't watched. All right, got you. Hold on, I'm struggling. I feel like I should have my model on for this. I have it on like three three minutes into the video. It's fine. Oh god. Hello! Let me in! <laughs> Damn CA. This video was captured by a Reddit user's doorbell camera. I probably will because I put desktop audio on, so I might get DMCA'd. Saying motion was detected at his door. I can't understand what you're saying. On opening the app, he's greeted I'm a little deaf. An eyeball looking directly into his camera, and a man whispering and mumbling to himself. Hey! Oh my God! The pizza's here! The pizza's here! He proceeds to knock and ring the doorbell. He then begins trying his luck at the doorknob and window, all the while still mumbling and whispering to himself. Open the door. After the homeowner threatens to call the police, the man gets defensive and claims he was just looking for his dog, conveniently named Fido. Okay, I was just looking for my dog, Fido. Fido? Ew. We don't want to be friends with you. You're scary. In this video, we see a man seemingly waiting to be let into a house. Whether it's his house or not is unknown. As he waits by the door, a strange animal like mm -hmm. transparent figure can be seen floating towards the door. And as it reaches Ew. and passes the man, he turns, possibly reacting to a sound he may have heard. Eh? Nah, there's ghosts in there. He's just returning home after a long day of work. <laughs> These are two clips that were likely taken back. Gerald! Do you remember? Yeah, exactly. The whole shit in 2016 when these bitches would run around fucking everywhere. 
Dude, the school had to get shut down because of these bitches. That shit was so dumb. In this first clip, we see someone dressed as a clown holding a small sword, lurking around. I would be scared too. Over by where we board. lived, um, they were like in the cornfields. There was like a group of them, like a little cult. Similarly, in this next clip, someone dressed as a clown can be seen standing in the distance, looking at the front door. After a while, he approaches the door, seems to stare into the doorbell camera for a few seconds. Dude, it's all because of the it, it movie. Whether these were pranks meant to scare the homeowners or not. Most it's not a funny prank. No one's laughing. I hate when people call things prank and it's like, it's not a prank if it's not funny. It's just a joke. Am I laughing? No. <laughs> it's not ha ha funny, dumbass. Am I too big? I feel like I'm big. seen here apparently rang the doorbell and no one answered. The man who lives in this house was wearing headphones, therefore couldn't hear the doorbell. So the man in the hoodie likely presumed no one was home and soon returned with his friend in the white hoodie around 15 minutes later. The man Are you really trying to break in? to kick in the door while his friend in the white hoodie stands by. The man who owns the house is able to hear the loud bangs of the attempted burglar's foot hitting the door and he yells out something unintelligible that scares the two men off. He said, fuck off! <laughs> How is that one scary? He just said, fuck off! But instead of actually ringing the bell or knocking on the door, he pretends to knock on the door. What you can't see on the screen is a car that's waiting for the man in front of the house. According to the homeowner, he could be seen talking to someone waiting in the car off camera later on. It's likely that the shirtless man was forced to do something by the person in the car. Clearly something that he doesn't want to do given that he fakes an entire conversation with the homeowner. All the while checking to make sure the person in the car could see him talking. Apparently, he or the person in the car were looking for a person named Matt, who they thought lived in this house. One could only imagine what this man was put out to do to this mad person. He's shirtless. <laughs> yeah, he forgot his shirt inside. In this video, the doorbell camera detects. Oh, there's a ghost orb. Nothing appears in the frame except for a small white orb that floats across That's the a ghost orb! Some paranormal investigators have- I've played enough phasmophobia to, to know that! <laughs> Apparently the orb in this video is significant enough to trip the motion sensors of the camera system. <laughs> That's a fly at your line. This video, but rather a pretty disturbing picture caught by a Redditor's doorbell camera. After being woken up by a notification on their phone, they checked it to see a message saying, your doorbell detected a visitor. After checking the app, they didn't see anything, and as anyone would, assumed it was maybe a bug or a small animal that tripped the motion sensor. However, the Redditor received more notifications, and after checking the app again, was faced with this disturbing image. Whether it's even a male or female is almost impossible to tell, but perhaps the most disturbing part of the image the shape and distance of the person's eyes. It's not something anyone would ever want to see at their front door. <laughs> Hell no. We see someone wearing a mask approaching the door and covering the doorbell with a piece of tape. The homeowner got an alert that motion was detected on the porch, and upon checking the footage was ready to grab his gun. It's not known what was done while the tape was covering the camera. But eventually one side of the tape peeled off, revealing the person in the mask was gone. The homeowner doesn't know if it was simply kids playing a prank, or someone who meant him and his family harm. This video shows exactly why you should always check who's outside your door before opening it.
That's a gun. This doorbell camera caught two men in front of the house. One of them approaching the front door and ringing the doorbell, armed with a gun. He attempts to hide his face as he approaches the door. And you I already are on camera. That's like the dumbest shit about these fucking doorbell videos. Every doorbell video that I've ever seen, they're like trying to cover their face after the fact. They're like, oh, before they, they're like all the way over here. They're not even trying to cover their face yet, right? But they're talking about seeing the doorbell and they're not trying to cover their face until they're up here. And I'm like, dude, also going over like this. I'm on the club. The other man was the sidewalk, waiting for his friend to do whatever uh -uh. he was about to do. Luckily, nobody answered the door. This Hell no. <laughs> two Hell no. Pull up in their driveway and wait outside their front door. The one on Jersey the Shore. The camera, the two flee. Literally, there's a whole gun out. Not even 15 minutes later, the two pull up into the homeowner's driveway again, having apparently decided they'd go through with the break-in anyway. This time, one of the really bold as hell. But the homeowner is ready this time and speaks through the doorbell speaker, claiming the police are on their way, scaring the two off for good this time. Dude, they probably just went and broke into someone else's house in the neighborhood. The fuck? Idiots, for September real. 2018. Florida man wearing a bulletproof vest and carrying a Florida man are you drunk at four in the morning are you drunk you seem a little drunk bathroom after spotting the man on her security footage she immediately called the police and her husband who was out of town for work roughly 25 minutes later the police arrived the man faced aggravated assault charges the home always a Florida man man had stayed at their home recently Claiming she was afraid of her own father. What the fuck? At some off hour in the night, this man's doorbell camera captures a mysterious, transparent looking, blurry figure slowly moving down the sidewalk across the street. It's a zombie. Where is it? I'm blind. Oh, wait, there. In the back? Is that not a person? Are they just being racist? I feel like they're just being racist. It closely resembles a human, and that's what most may assume. But the weird part of this one is that after reviewing the footage, the homeowner asked a neighbor who also had a camera to check their footage at the same time. And their footage didn't reveal the figure walking down the sidewalk. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Florida isn't real. Well, okay. Yeah, literally, like, wow. That was very anticlimactic. What the fuck? We're watching this one. I don't care. It's been a long year since I've done a ring cameras video. And as it turns out, people are still creeps and a lot of new videos have surfaced. So let's look at some of them. <laughs> this first video is a very real and grisly reminder that danger can be following you anywhere at any time. Dude. Even to your front door. All we get on our ring camera, because we got like a ring camera after the, the people tried to break in like twice. So we got a ring camera. Um, all we see is people walking in their puppies. <laughs> yeah, there's just a person. It's just a bald man. Why are you- what? Why are you- what? To be fair, bald people are scary, but you know. POV confusion. <gasps> he was going to try to get in there. <gasps> Not with the baby in our arms. 
fucking idiot. As you just saw, a mother holding her infant daughter unknowingly leads a man to her front door and was mere seconds away from him getting inside. As the man approaches the driveway, you can see him pulling up the mask over his face to conceal his identity. Oh, I thought he was bald. He was wearing a hat. <laughs> This is why you don't trust bald people. people. You can see him pulling up the mask over his face. Ah, uh, no, he's head. wearing a hat. He's Clearly probably bald with though. Meditated intentions. As the man walks up the driveway, <laughs> the daughter takes notice to him as the mother is still completely oblivious. Yeah, to the baby's like, threat. I know. There's a man the over there, mom. Inside and shuts the door in time. She only realized what had just happened after looking through the terrifying ring footage. The woman made a report to the police as soon as she saw the footage. And what the police said you don't hear scared. him trying to get in the house after you get in the house a brutal and violent rapist in the area who had been targeting women and children it's suspected that he and this man were the same person no sane person <sighs> leaves their house with a full face mask such as this one if they're not knowingly about to commit a serious crime and want to conceal their identity the woman in the video just may have saved her and her child's life just by the skin Yay, of good job! Go mama! If you're not convinced of just how often this kind of thing happens, here's a similar video. A young college age- Run! 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 Into her house. Not even five seconds after she enters the home, two large men step on the porch, and the one in front immediately tries to open the door. BBG, I need you to rush. Oh, hell no. He saw the camera. He looked directly at the camera. <laughs> Where are the noises coming from inside the house? <laughs> oh, yeah. Real! Yeah, I think so too. Some people think the men looked genuinely confused and may have had the wrong house. However, the short window of time between the girl entering the house and the men stepping on the porch would have definitely allowed them to see the girl. You'd think anyone who just tries to open the door to a house surely must know they have the right house, or at the very least, know who lives in the house. It could also be argued that when the man turns to his friend behind him, he's making mention of the camera so he pretends to think he has the right house by sticking around and knocking, despite the obvious screams from the girl inside as she notices the men at the door. I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm so confused. You scared me too. This is why I have a bat and I wield that bitch hard. Yeah, no, literally, they're bald again. Whether they were trying to They're bald. I don't trust bald people. There's no further Knock on wood. I don't trust bald there's people. Still, everything about no, I hate again. Like this is it's not a prank doing shit like happened. this, you know? Like even if they say that it's a prank, it's not a prank, bro. It's not funny. I'm not laughing, you know? A couple scene I don't trust your dad. Seen unlocking the door. And seconds later, as the bald I'm sorry, Mello, I don't trust you. I've, t I've said this before, bald people scare me. Like, I don't know. She acts quickly and runs inside, locking the front door. The suspect Whoa. Then spots the ring camera and hits it repeatedly with his gun, effectively breaking the device. I'm drinking my Arizona. It's at this You're balding. You gotta get hair oil. Well. Darkles, you can't go bald. That was fast as fuck. She like barely escaped casino. that. And for this reason, the wife believes the two men followed them home from the casino, hoping to rob them of any of their winnings. Fortunately, they made it inside safely. She sees him and then she's like, "Run!" Was identified she's smart. As 18 year old Al Hussein Drame, and he was arrested on October 26th. Your Arizona bald Including burglary in the first degree. Those cameras are made of titanium. We gotta get you some hair oil, you know? With this fourth video, we moved to something- <laughs> <more> <laughs> Strawberry hair oil. Strawberry mint hair oil. Nolan Brock's indoor ring What's happening? Camera while he was sleeping on the couch. He's going Mimi. 39 in the morning, 
He's awoken to the pantry doors opening and some kind of cracks or bangs coming from either inside the pantry or from the doors themselves. Uh, uh I could see the door handle move. Where are his arms? Fan running. The thought of it being a draft wasn't out of the question per se. He ignored it. Nah, fans don't work that way! Where are his arms? Am I silly? Oh no, wait, they're right there. I was like, what the fuck? But four minutes later, Hell no. <laughs> Hell place. no. One of the doors is aggressively yanked shut. And this officially removes any possibility of a draft being the cause. Nah, cause look in the crack of the door, the there's not a person there. Shut. Look, 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 look! One of the doors is aggressively yanked shut. There's not a person in there! How do you go through frame by frame? Isn't there a way to do that on YouTube? What does this mean? One of the doors we don't is fuck with that shit. Shut. Actually, I think there might have been a hand. Maybe I'm skits. Hold on. Aggressively yanked shut. His arrow keys. I'm using my arrow keys. It's going back five seconds. One of the doors is aggressively yanked shut. This officially removes any possibility of a draft because of the doors moving. It's safe to assume he slept in his bed the rest of the night. Up or down? Let me see. No, it's not up or down. <laughs> this next video also comes from inside of a house instead of the front porch. And this one can play on one of the biggest fears of a lot you of people. You are all good, don't Imagine worry. someone lurking around your house as you sleep. Wichita, Kansas. Oh, hell no. Family's ring cameras captured some terrifying video. Footage. I always hallucinate people in my house, but I know that they're not real. And if they are real, I will literally. On a Friday night. Hold on. Hold on. Where's my bat? Actually, this is, a, this is a good safety check. This is a good safety check. Here's my bat. Here's my bat. Ready? Do you hear that? That will be someone's head. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Slash. HJ. She opened her eyes. She felt like she was in a scene from a horror movie. Seeing somebody sitting over her, watching her that she didn't know. Anaya rushed to her mother Angel's room, screaming there's somebody in the house. And after being jolted awake, Angel made sure her two-year-old daughter and Anaya were safe in a room before calling the police. Wichita police responded quickly, but the intruder was already gone. Is that? It's likely the boy entered the house simply through the front door. That doesn't do anything. <laughs> He's not working. That's fucking scary, though. The ring cameras clearly caught his face. And using this footage, the police acted on a tip and were able to arrest a 14-year-old boy whose name was not released. 14? Burglary and theft charges. November 2021, a woman reported on Twitter that a creepy looking man had been standing outside of her apartment almost every night for an entire month. Every she night for an entire month and the police the didn't do anything? The man creepily standing there for extended periods of time, facing her door. At no, literally, how did he even get in there? Speaking, But what he says is impossible to hear. The woman resorted to posting this on Twitter after her complaints to the No, literally, Uncanny Valley. It was a few days after her initial post that she posted an update stating that her friends and family confronted the man, which seemingly got him to stop. 
Additionally, the post going viral prompted her building security to do an additional routine throughout the night. I can't seem to find her Twitter profile mm -hmm. anymore, so there don't appear to be any updates on the matter. And <laughs> the the sound effects. So residents ring camera catches what appears at first to be a woman in danger seeking help at their front door in the middle of the night. But this may be a much more sinister situation. Dude, have you seen the videos about people warning them about like women being used for trafficking because they know that women are more likely to help out women rather than helping out a man? So do you have to be scared of women trafficking other women? Which low-key, they're kind of right, because I feel like as, as a woman, you, you're more likely to help out a woman because all of your life you're kind of told like oh men you gotta be you gotta be scared you know don't go any don't go anywhere in the dark at night and if you do like a b and c right so it's just like uh videos like this i also remember being told when i was younger by like my, my grandparents and stuff man i stupid i don't respect them i remember being told by my grandma never like, if someone comes up to you out of random, even if they're with a child, even if it's a woman with a child, like, First still, don't. Like, if it's late at night, uh, -uh you're busy. Find an excuse. Ryan and I was like, okay. For help. <laughs> Things start getting suspicious when she hides anytime a car is approaching. See, but if it's really that important, like, you're that scared, why not go to the other houses as well? Why this house specifically? She's not wearing shoes. Person chasing after her, or is she perhaps trying to? No, that's what I was gonna say. She looks drunk. I was saying the same thing. She looks scared. Like, she obviously doesn't care that it's a camera. After the neighbor's driveway light turns on, Them dogs the car's barking. headlights approach from the right, and she's seen casually walking away, presumably to get in that unseen car, perhaps because her driver was growing paranoid that too much attention was being drawn, so they needed to leave. Oh no, do you think she's being taken advantage of? Now you could say that's just a far-fetched theory of mine, but a month later, El Paso police arrested a woman who was charged with burglary of habitation. That woman was Krista Nicole Cordo. The woman in the video looks identical to the woman in this She motion. doesn't look identical! The this woman faced is defined as the act of entering any building illegally with the plan Okay, maybe it's because the video's blurry because it's YouTube, owner, but she doesn't look identical to me. Suddenly, the prospect that this woman could have been trying to trick an unsuspecting person into opening their door doesn't seem so far-fetched. As always, keep your doors locked and be careful who you open them to. She looks similar, but not exactly the same. <laughs> And then now that we're just like on a scary video thing, what? See, why does it appear? Maybe that's why it didn't work because it was like in my search bar for some reason. Hold on, I want to go see if I can. Oh, I found it. Okay. The pantry doors opening and some kind of cracks or bangs coming from either inside the pantry or from the doors themselves. No, I didn't say that. I didn't believe you. I just didn't know like why it wasn't working. <laughs> With the fan running, the thought of it being a draft wasn't out of the question per se. He ignored it and tried to go back to sleep. 
but four minutes later, at <laughs> this happened. <laughs> the ducks are running into the pantry. <laughs> it's just the ducks, guys. They're just having a meeting. Don't mind them. Okay, I want to see if there's a person in there or not. It doesn't look like there's a person in there. I don't really see like a string either, do you? And like even in like the crack in the crack of the door, like normally you'd be able to see someone, so unless they're like hiding or it's edited. I think it could be a ghost. I want to watch Paranormal Activity. I don't want to watch like creepy. <laughs> Sorry, I just think it's funny because <laughs> when I when I close the tab, you just see this. You just see my my little pouting bean. Oh, my poor baby. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on. My video. I can't touch her, please! <laughs> Fucking hate people, dude. There was a time in my life that I did have a stalker, and stuff like that did happen to me, but I'm scary and I have my own big dog privileges. <laughs> Luckily, I'm a scary bitch, so. Um. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of shit that I've fucking gone through, like, alone, that I haven't even talked about, like, on stream or to a therapist or to my family members is absolutely fucking insane. Will I talk about them one day? Yeah, probably. But, you know, it's just a lot, even for me. Like, I'm not, I'm not ready yet. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> You don't seem that scary. I would hope so. Thank you. I try my best. I try my best to be approachable. But maybe that's what makes me scarier. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I don't really want to be scary. I- that's why I always get, like, upset when people are like... I try not to be scary. Yeah, I try not to be scary. I try to be approachable. You do look bullyable? Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't really need other people's scary dog privileges because I kind of have like my own scary dog privileges. <laughs> I wouldn't say that I do as much like anymore because I've kind of like dialed down. I don't really have that much of a sleeper build anymore. I used to have a really like athletic sleeper build, but now I've like kind of lost more of my muscle. To be fair, I've, I've tried to lose more of my muscle though, because I wanted to be more like, I don't know, feminine. I was trying to look feminine. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm just skinny. So that is <laughs> <laughs> I worked for that shit. I'm trying to keep it, you know? <laughs> the one thing I don't like about, like, not having the, the like, the muscle anymore is now that it's not a muscle it's turned into fat but the fat's turned into like cellulite or like it's not all cellulite obviously but it's just you know it doesn't make me body happy it made me body sad <laughs> no it's not even that like yeah i have breasts but i don't have massive titties would I want massive titties? Probably fucking not. My back already hurts enough as is. <laughs> Everybody else in my family has like bigger boobs. 
one day maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Me personally, eh. My big ass hair tendrils, they're even longer than my fucking hair. <laughs> Jim Rat going back? No. I'm not supposed to- like the whole reason that I like... I'm gonna test drive on some big tits, but... No. <laughs> I don't really want big boobs. I already get like stared at enough. I don't feel like I want to get stared at and then objectified, you know? Should I save the bear? Nah. Okay, we're gonna watch one more scary or like spooky video and then I'm gonna end stream. I know that there's there's ways to test drive having big tits. Cause there's like fake boobs. I only stare to see how ugly you are. Wow, thanks. What is this? Okay, pick pick hold on, we're gonna go to we're gonna go to their YouTube. Thirty-three? What? Excuse me. I don't want a super long video. I want like a shorter one. Ellie! Ellie, come here! Come here! Come here! <laughs> come here! You see the VC? You should be able to see the VC. What do you mean? Come here! I'm in the. I'm, I'm just trying so hard to figure out what you meant. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta mute the. Oh my gosh. Why am I. Why is my PNG there? I just noticed that. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. And you know what that means? That means that we can make him. We can make him make a. Oh my. Hold on. Hold on. Also, look at your little bunny. What are you saying? Yeah, your little bunny. Yeah, go ahead. Honestly. Oh, the little bunny. I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. What horror yeah. stories? Two disturbing mysteries that remain unsolved. Ten minutes. What is a seemingly nice neighbor is really a psychopath. Burnt down his apartment. Damn. Craigslist? That one- there's a duck on there that looks fucking weird. We're watching this. <laughs> Quack. Craigslist is nowhere near what it used to be. It's been replaced by websites like Facebook Marketplace and Poshmark. Maybe a big reason for this stems from not just the rampant scams on the website, but also because it's the go-to site for a lot of creeps. So for old time's sake, here are three Craigslist ads. Yeah, just join the VC and I'll drag you in. This was an ad posted in Kansas City a month ago that a viewer by the name of Christian sent in. It's a harmless looking ad for an old vacuum cleaner. This was posted in the for yeah. sale by owner section and listed as free. It was titled, Free Dirt Devil Vision Bagless Canister. The ad description said, I'm giving away this perfectly okay, working Dirt, dirt Devil, Devil Bagless Vacuum Cleaner. <laughs> My wife and I got a new vacuum and no longer need this. First come, first serve. We'll disclose address after- That seems like a seemingly normal ad. The left a phone number to contact. Seemingly. So Christian replied to the ad, sending a text saying he's interested and promptly got a response. That's weird. The reply back was, hello, what hello, is your I name? Came in here to which to he replied, Christian, of course. They replied, Jack, nice to meet you. 
I'm done with Lam. Hold on, you know what? I'm just gonna drag us on the general. You can hold it for me until tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they replied back, okay. So the next day, the oh, sent yeah. a follow-up chat. We need to get everybody's reaction on this live in time, live in time. If that works for yeah, you, you should also stream so people in here can see it. Come on. Sounds good to me. Give me a call. I'll explain how to get here. Hold on. So at this point, Christian Come on, do it, Bella. Do it. Yeah. I am. It's just like you. Not the female voice he was expecting <laughs> after the seller introduced themselves as Jackie. Christian asked okay, if this were Jackie he was speaking with. And the man said no, that's his wife. Hi. And that she's Hold on, I have to rejoin because otherwise I can't see This was the first pages. red flag for Christian since it was the oh, same no. number he was contacting the whole time. Don't you freaking... Stupid were dog, dog. you made me look bad! bad. So anyways, I can't wait for the game to come out. There we go. The man on the phone introduced himself <laughs> as Brock and explained how to get to the location. He gave Christian the cross like streets to what he described as his warehouse. Which he'd have to open the okay, gate for. warehouse. Christian had a pretty normal reaction, asking what he meant by warehouse, because he was Yeah, you said it would be like you made that so suspicious. Relatively small item. Yeah, okay, no way. Part of a small warehouse. Horny bitch he and his wife store a lot of their old belongings and stuff Bro. that Hi, Bonnie. To be a Hello. Christian Hold on, I'm streaming. Fair warning, just so you know. Oh, okay. Grandview. I stream. Wait, you're streaming? Yes. Oh, I have a gift for you. Hold on. What? <laughs> Here you go, buddy. Hello. When he texted him that he was there, the gate started to roll open automatically, and beyond the gate was a long driveway between two different brick buildings leading into darkness. Okay. Christian called Brock, who rejected the call and texted Christian to come inside the gated area and inside the warehouse straight ahead. Bro, that's so it suspicious. It was so dark ahead mm -hmm. that he couldn't even see a warehouse. Christian asked Brock to bring the vacuum Bye -bye. outside by the gate. This is where you gotta get, like, Brock the brightest flashlight. Bro, I would have rolled away so Ooh. much longer before that. Bye bye. You pull out the world's brightest flashlight, <laughs> legit burn people's <laughs> retinas who were there. Bye bye. 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 Listing was taken oh down. man, Bella, how are you today? Reverse phone look up. Bye bye. Yeah, how are you? Bye bye. bye. <laughs> you reverse looking up shit now? Oh my bye god. Bye bye. Where would it? Unknown ahead. You likely avoided something terrible. Just do the smart thing. Fuck it into a light Following with a magnifying glass and just like burn the room. Turn your fucking height. On the surface, yeah. it looks a little or just unusual. Or going full speed. <laughs> I'm looking for a sexy guy. Jesus Christ. Good thing it doesn't say goth on there. Personal movie. <laughs> Not the personal oh, movie. Bye. Not the personal movie on Craigslist. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is very... And, scary. and I'm not yeah. looking for sex and no cock sucking. <laughs> <laughs> the no cock sucking is crazy. Capital is no. <laughs> no, no. Not, absolutely no means not. no. It is what it is. <laughs> the end is the only thing that's capitalized. The end. The I. <laughs> it's only just the end. Fuck. Bye, bye, side bye. Of Craigslist. The poster of the ad said he was looking for a male who was interested bye, in becoming bye, an actor bye, bye, in the personal bye. movie he was making. Bye, 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 His bye. requirements for the person included being between the age of 18 and 35 and good looking, bye, bye, including bye. a face and body picture. He also stated he wasn't going to pay them anything as the movie was strictly for his own